WWL. Happy April Fool's Day. I'm Molly Prescott. I'm Pappy Yang. I'm Lizzie Anderson. And I'm Jenna Moran. Today we'll be talking about the Badgers, How I Met Your Mother, series finale, and some pretty strange city ordinances. Stay tuned. WMCM's Afternoon Delight is next. to open up the show today how about those badgers going to the final four did you guys watch it did yes. i watch it okay all i gotta say is kaminsky 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 i mean he was the reason why they got into the final four the seven foot junior scored 28 points and 11 rebounds yeah nice. i gotta nice. say my favorite though is ben brust we would be nowhere without him he is absolutely fantastic all-time three-point shooter in badger history just this last game, mm -hmm. fantastic. Awesome. I think we would be nowhere without Josh Gasser. <laughs> so let's just give uh, credit where credit's due here. He's one of the best defensive players, I feel. He can always come through when you need him. And he doesn't annoy me like uh, a lot of the other players. So that's <laughs> always a positive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. Elizabeth, I know you're not from Wisconsin. Do you have a favorite badger? Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not a huge badger fan, yeah, but I like going to the games. I don't really know any of the players. But uh, just to like watch the game on Friday night was just super fun to be with everybody and just have the crowd go crazy. Right. So mm -hmm. it was fun. I, I really think, enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, I think atmosphere is a huge aspect of mm -hmm. if you're going to have a good yeah. time watching the game. Um, I actually, uh, unfortunately, I only got to watch the second half because I was at the Kinesis Dance Performance. Good job, girls. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> and so we, I was at the Eagle's Nest for the second half, and it was just the most fun atmosphere mm -hmm. I've been a part of for a Badger game, I guess, really of any sort so that was a really great time um i also really enjoyed how uh the guy who shot the ball last for what was it um arizona you know yep. even if he would have been fouled or whatever the ball was still in his hands when the buzzer went off so yep. no contest mm -hmm. there i mean it i mean i didn't even think it was arizona's ball to begin oh, with with those last not. two <laughs> yeah for seconds not. but who do we think is going to win on saturday they play at 7 49 on saturday who do you think they're going to beat do you, who do you think they're gonna if they're gonna win Kentucky? Well, Kentucky's eight seed and we're a two seed. So what do you think? You know, I like to think we're gonna take it all this year, <laughs> but I'm not gonna jump the gun too quickly. I'd like to just uh, I'll be happy with getting to the championship because even that right there is such an accomplishment for any team. You yeah. know, and we're in the final four. Anyway. I mean, yeah. Yeah. look at that! Exactly. Like that's such an accomplishment in as it is. So yeah, it's great to look at that. So. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you guys mm -hmm. seen the map that I think it was Sports Nation posted? And it's all the, it's the mm -hmm. United States and who's supporting what team? Base, oh, there we go. Look at that beautiful <laughs> yeah. piece of nice. art. We are Texas yellow. Is just, oh, did Texas like secede? Oh, wow. I'm not sure. <laughs> they don't really oh, care. They have a really great fan base. It's their own state. And then nice. UConn has the upper, you know, New England, which is understandable. Same for Florida. They got the Southeast, and then. Just as the Packers are America's football team, uh, the Badgers are America's basketball <laughs> team right now. So that's pretty wonderful. Oh. And congrats to the coach, Bo, Bo Ryan. Ryan. Yeah, yeah his isn't it? His first, first time, time taking yep. the team to the Final Four. I think the last time we were in the Final Four was, I want to say it was 2000. Kirk Penny was on the team. 2000. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I could be wrong on that, but yeah. I would Kirk just like Penny. to point out that if the Badgers win on Saturday and Florida beats UConn, I will have picked the championship game and if Wisconsin wins I will have picked the championship team. <gasps> Wonderful. Yeah. Wow. Just point it out that I will be going beast mode in my bracket. Awesome. <laughs> Unfortunately no billion dollars from Warren Buffett, correct? No, no. <laughs> I had a few losses there. Mercer, you know, just a few losses. Mercer. Fun fact about Mercer, um, one of their starters, the Gollin, he's from Stevens Point, which is actually oh. like ten miles from where I'm from, and his brother plays basketball with my cousin in high school right now. So nice. Well, Pretty great, nice. yeah. I think he had like 20 points it's that game. They world. upset Duke, unfortunately. Yeah. Always a Duke fan, but <laughs> I know I'm in the minority there, so. Well, we want Wisconsin to be number one, but we also want Frozen just became number one for <laughs> animated movie of all time. Absolutely. It just beat out Toy Story 3, and it grows 398.4 million domestically and 674 mil uh, million internationally, with over 1 billion in profits. Well, I like to say that I definitely watched that show three times over spring break. 
So I can contribute to those numbers. Oh. I <laughs> love that movie. As can I. It's great. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. I'd be lying if I said Let It Go wasn't number seven on the CD <laughs> in my car right now. <laughs> you know, it's just because I was anticipating having to drive my niece around over spring break, you know, and yeah. I wanted to be able yeah. to sing that with her, of course. So of course. it was Always a good, good. time. Always Always good too. And the my favorite well. character is probably the little snowman. Oh, I'm sure everyone heard of you. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I actually read that that's a play on the words. Oh, laugh. oh, laugh. Like, they just wanted everyone to be oh, happy wow. while That's watching funny. That, yeah. Do you guys know who voices him? <laughs> Josh Gad. Uh, Josh Gad, correct, oh, okay. I believe. Yeah. yeah, and he was also, I think he was involved in, was it the Brother Solomon on Broadway? Mm. So we all know he can sing, <clears throat> absolutely. Yeah. He has some wow. really great bravado in that, um, what is it, In Summer? Is it called or? Yeah. I don't oh, know. yeah. The, song the ending when he's just summer. like yeah. all out. Just <laughs> yeah. love it. Unfortunately, so he just doesn't realize the effects summer will have on him. But oh. also takes care of that, so no worries. Nice, nice. Well, speaking about television shows, movies, all of that, How I Met Your Mother was a series uh, finale yes. last night, and I watched that. And I almost shed a tear when uh, Barney and Robin split it up and they divorced. But. Luckily, I was happy that Ted... Um, <laughs> spoiler! Yeah, well, spoiler alert, sorry. Spoiler I allowed alert. it. <laughs> um, but I really liked it when Ted and Robin got back together. What do you guys think? I've never Did watched watch a full it? episode of How I Met Your Mother in my <laughs> life. But, I mean, it doesn't bother me if, like, I wasn't really planning on it either. I'm mm -hmm. too busy right now to get involved in a, such an emotional roller coaster. Right. But, um, yeah, I don't mind how the people ended up together because yeah. I, I don't really have an opinion. And I think fans were a little bit disappointed that after nine years of watching the show, Ted and Robin ended up being yeah. together. Uh, I didn't think they wanted to go on that emotional journey. But, you know, they ended up together. It was really cute. I cried a little, but it was special. It was a special moment. And Barney, you know, he stopped womanizing the women. And what? I know. Yeah. He, he yeah. stopped womanizing yeah. and he got a baby girl in the process. Yeah. And he is a fantastic oh. dad. Okay, that's so. what I was going to ask. Yeah. I wasn't sure how no, it was. It was that. the most <laughs> sweetest sentimental moment I think I've ever seen on that show. So Well, that's coming from somebody who is chronically single, I have to say that I have watched <laughs> <laughs> multiple episodes of How I Met Your Mother, so I was pretty well caught up. Mm -hmm. And there's, it's really split people who liked the ending, people who didn't like the ending. I loved it because mm -hmm. it was, it wasn't like complete happy ending. It was reality. You know, there's divorce in life, there's death in life, and it just showed an accurate depiction of real life. And it wasn't just mm -hmm. a show; it was something people could relate with. But to kill off the mother. What? I mean, yeah, they yeah. killed her off. Like, she got cancer. So it's like, your mother and then subsequently well, died. Well, they introduced <laughs> the mother in the last season. Yeah. And then killed her off in the last episode. And then Ted and Robin end up. It's sweet, but like, it's, I don't I know. It, I thought it was wonderful. I don't know. Maybe yeah. a little morbid, I right. guess. Well, well, okay. <laughs> so how long oh. was Ted and the mother together then before she mm. passed away? How I think they were about, what they say, about 10 years? Mm -hmm. Because then it was six oh, wow. years oh. and then yeah. the kids and mm -hmm. then that's when him and Robin. And it ended the scene with him and a blue French horn. I gotta say, I've cried multiple times. And I During that one that hour span, I was on an emotional roller coaster. And I didn't understand that sim symbolance or symbolance of like that whole blue French horn, but it was cute in the press. Wait, so. you didn't no. understand that? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, All right. Better explain then. They, from the first few episodes, when he first meets Robin, has a blue French horn, but I digress, I mean. <laughs> Quick question about that. I remember at one point David Henry and Lucy Hale were the kids. That mm -hmm. are or did they make an appearance in the finale at all? Lucy or? Hale was um, Robin's kid sister. So oh, there, yeah. okay. I had no wow, idea. Wow, I spent way too much time yeah, watching yeah, television. Know. <laughs> and it proves how much I've never watched oh, that in my life. So no big deal. But yeah. yeah, I mean, we might have to take away from the spoilers here of the finale. Yeah, yeah we're I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> so I'm just going to change the topic a little bit. Um, as Molly said in the introduction, happy April Fool's Day. I have some interesting facts about how it originated. There are many uh, different ideas, but here are some of my favorite ones. The original theory is that it was a French um, calendar change in the 1500s, and so they moved the start of the new year from late March to January 1st, and so then those who were slow to hear mm -hmm. the news or refused to change their ways, being stubborn, were called um, a very <laughs> difficult French word that I can't pronounce, but it <laughs> means April fish, uh, said to represent an easily caught guppy, in other words, a fool. Hmm. 
So, jokes on them. The more you know, you should have like a rainbow. Yeah, so I'd say that's just like the, that's the idea that I'm going to go with for how it actually started. Do you guys have any good uh, pranks that, were ever, that you pulled or that were pulled on you? You know, I don't have any on myself, but my cousin, she just told her boyfriend that she was pregnant. And oh, that's <laughs> not a good prank. Those yeah, that's, never that's a pranks. bad one. And, <laughs> and so he played along knowing it was a prank, and she kind of oh. freaked out because he was all like, you should just marry me then. And, <laughs> and she told oh, him, and then he told her, and drastic. it was kind of... Yeah. <laughs> Did they run into any problems from that? It, mm. They didn't. It okay. lasted for like 10 minutes. So. Okay. Oh, okay. So not yeah, like a week or yeah. <laughs> That'd be bad. That be would bad. be. What about you? Yeah, I was telling you guys about the one earlier, how I'm an RA in Reuter, and I did this pretty ornate whiteboard. I drew a peacock because, again, I have apparently a lot of free time. I can attest to the fact <laughs> that she draws the best peacocks I've ever seen in my life. Well, Very colorful. <laughs> there we go. Well, I <laughs> spent probably too much time on this thing, and I was in the shower, and one of my residents texted me and said, somebody erased it, so I get out of the shower, and I'm like wetting in a robe, and joke's on me, it was still there, and I felt like a pretty big <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Um, well, my April Fool's story, my sister played a prank on my mom last year and sent her a picture of an engagement ring to them saying that her and her boyfriend got married and they nearly just dropped to the floor because she was 21. So, I don't know. It was pretty interesting. It's a little, it was a little yeah. intense, but nothing this year, nothing too drastic yet. Right. So, But the day is still young, you know. <laughs> Might have a prank around the corner, you know. Possibly. So, yeah, I have... Either. Pretty much the most uneventful April Fool's history. Uh, I think the craziest thing that ever happened to me was my mom asked me to get her a glass of water, but she had previously rubber banded down the hose part of the faucet, so when I turned it on, I mean, it was really perfect how it worked. <laughs> just my whole front was wet, but that's, that's the funniest yeah. thing I have, and I, I realize when, it's not. I love when parents do that. I love when parents can still like have fun and pull jokes like oh, that, yeah. and just, you're just caught off guard. I love it. So. Well, in 1985, Sports Illustrated pulled a fast one on a lot of people. Um, they, inc they had a 14-page article about a pitcher who is completely fictitious named Sid Finch, who could <laughs> toss the ball at a record 168 miles per hour, wow. and he was an English orphan and a Harvard University dropout. You know, they have to make this really interesting. And then they uh, said that he was signed with the Mets secretly, and all these fans were just elated, and unfortunately, they learned that whole story was fake, and it was an April Fool's joke. I wonder how many people <laughs> so. believed it at first. You know, initially just read it and was like, wow, this guy's great. Like, he can pitch 160? It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. pretty crazy. Well, here's funny. a story that isn't fake. Uh, <laughs> there's a Texas woman who took her devotion into Jennifer Lawrence, Ooh. and she spent $25,000 on surgery just to look like her. And it took six hour. it's a six-hour procedure. Wow. Her, her husband wasn't too fond fond of it. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think about this? What a what a yeah, negative weird. example for her daughter that was yeah. in some of the pictures with her. Yeah. She had a, a life size cutout of Jennifer Lawrence in her kitchen or something, yeah. and then her daughter is just looking up at it yeah. and looking up at her mom admiringly. And I'm just like, no, mm -hmm. don't. That's not good. Well, and the mom <laughs> thinks she looks like Jennifer Lawrence. I mean, have you seen the pictures? She looks nothing yeah. like her, in my she opinion. She doesn't. She really in my doesn't. Opinion. I mean, you can't look like somebody else exactly. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know what she was trying to achieve out of that. I, so th I think you guys are being a little too harsh. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Okay. I mean, obviously, it's a little messed up. <laughs> but it started because she, you know, had a baby and she wasn't feeling comfortable in her own body. Mm -hmm. So I think it started out with good intentions, but. It kind of got sidetracked along the way. I mean, you shouldn't want to look really like somebody else. I mean, but I mean, you know, it's her. Yeah, similar story. Toby Sheldon. He spent a hundred thousand dollars just to look like Justin Bieber. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> that's so sad. Yeah. That is very sad. Yeah, he's thirty-three years old too, and, and he wants to look oh, like a little boy. So he wants to look I'm, like an eighteen-year-old, yeah. or I don't even know how old. Twenty. Twenty. I'm not quite sure. I don't really know. Yeah. All I know is he's a terrible influence on <laughs> Selena Gomez. Oh, <laughs> I think Not Selena fun. Gomez is a bad influence on Selena Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> I, That's true. <laughs> yeah, That's just, it just goes to too. show what happens when yeah. people who are so young grow up in Hollywood mm. and they don't have the influence of their parents always around them and, you know, you could say they that just about, get really caught up yeah, in it. You could say that about every childhood star in Hollywood mm -hmm. now. Miley Cyrus, Lindsay Lohan. I mean, they're all Can you guys think of any good um, childhood stars that have just kind of stayed out of the limelight as they've grown older and mm. 
Mm. I know Hillary Duff. You know yeah. she always impressed Drew Barrymore. Me. I mean, she had that she minor had that drug, <laughs> drug addiction <laughs> at thirteen. You know, and, just and Allie and AJ. Up. Allie and AJ, I think, kind of made it out yeah, of there. I don't really follow. I don't. I'm not follow familiar them, with them. I haven't heard anything bad, so maybe it's all. That's good. true. That's probably <laughs> a good thing that we can't really follow right. them anymore. I guess Selena was doing really well until the whole Little Justin fiasco. So yeah. Oh, that was undisclosed reasons, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't heard about We're that. We're going to call him Bieber reasons. She, Bieber what reasons. happened? <laughs> I didn't know about she that. She admitted herself for, I think, what, a month? Not even? Yeah. A couple exhaustion weeks. Exhaustion or um, something. Yeah, she said they didn't exhaustion. say it was like drug or alcohol mm -hmm. reasons, but mm -hmm. exhaustion was speculated upon and wow. maybe something with um, eating Disorder, disorders, possibly, yeah. It's no fun. So it really is unfortunate, yeah. Yeah, yeah but those rehab for a lot of Hollywood is a lot like, you know, passages of Malibu. Like, mm -hmm. Get me to rehab then, if that's what it looks like. <laughs> I've it's seen those commercial. resorts. Yeah. That's what it is. I've seen oh those commercials, God. and I want to go. Well, okay, right? I don't want to go, but like, it looks nice. It looks nice enough. But yeah. Oh, look at that beautiful picture of her. Oh, She's wonderful. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That must I'm be an emulator for better grade. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Well, right. we're going to leave a little bit of Hollywood behind, and we're going to move on to some furry friends in this week's edition of Perfect Pets. Meet Emma. She's a five-year-old Doberman Pinscher that likes to stay active and is looking for her forever home. Like Disney, meet Mickey. This cute beagle mix pup loves affection and will make your dreams come true. Meet Lightning. This two-year-old talkative tabby loves to play and always has jolts of energy. And here's OJ, a spunky little kitty that proves curiosity doesn't always kill the cat. To find out more about adoption for these pets or others, contact the Cooley Region Humane Society at 781-4014. Again, the number for the Cooley Region Humane Society is 781-4014. Now, before we left for that break, we were talking about uh, some positive slash negative influences from teen stars. Well, one of my current favorite um, teen role models is Lord. I know she has... She she had that interesting Grammy performance, you know, let's just disregard that. She recently tweeted, um, I think it was two days ago, a photo of herself. It was two photos, actually. One was edited and one was not. And she said, as you can see on the bottom there, um, I find this curious, two photos from today. One edited so my skin is perfect and one real. Remember, flaws are okay, smiley face. And I just think that is a wonderful thing of her to post mm -hmm. about herself, knowing that, you know, it wasn't the most flattering mm -hmm. for, you know... Hollywood standards photo, but I still think she's, I think she's really pretty in a, in a unique way, definitely, you know, a little different well, way. And she's portraying, like, true beauty. I mean, true beauty isn't just makeup that you put on your face or the clothes you wear on your body. It's more than that. It's, it's literally just, like, the personality you show. So being comfortable in yeah, skin. Yeah, being comfortable, true. So I think yeah. that's really admirable of her to be doing that. And yes. I can empathize with Lord because I gotta say, I have Lord's natural hair. That, like, you know, crazy <laughs> curl? I have it. So, I mean, I respect the girl for repping it every day because mm -hmm. clearly, I clearly I tried to tame the beast, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, our beauty, con being considered beautiful is socially constructed, and so for her to do this, it makes us, as women, feel a lot better about ourselves yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. so. Definitely. Cool. She's a pretty yeah. great person. Yeah. But, um. Definitely. She's cool. Yeah, <laughs> I love her. Definitely. I love her. Good and music. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. You continue. Not trying to cut you off <laughs> speaking highly of Lord because she's pretty wonderful. <laughs> so, yeah, but in other Hollywood news, do you guys watch The Voice at all? Yeah, I do. Do you see do. who is going to be the new uh, coach for season seven? Is it Pharrell? Is it Pharrell? It is Pharrell. And I have no idea. Yes. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, I'm overjoyed with the fact that he's replacing CeeLo Green. I don't yeah. really see. Uh, Oh, why don't you like CeeLo Green? You know, I've just... Why do you? I think that's the <laughs> question we should be talking about. So, I have nothing against him. I just don't find him to be as successful as the other coaches on mm -hmm. it and not as, like, amicable as the other coaches. Oh. But, um, yeah, he recently said um, CeeLo Green was on Ellen recently, and he said, I'm not coming back, guys. I don't want to wear out my welcome here. I have so many other things I want to do. I haven't released an album in four years. 
Shoot, what have oh. we been doing with our time with right? our, our recent CeeLo album? I've cried myself to sleep every night thinking, when is CeeLo going to come with another <laughs> album? And my prayers have been answered. <laughs> and I'm not there trying to trash CeeLo. <laughs> no, I'm really I am. That's Lilo. my job. I just love his one song, and that's it. I think he's a pretty uh, cool guy. Is that so. all Forget yes? You? Forget You, yeah. yes. Definitely. It's good. But I, I really like Pharrell, but interesting fact, how old do you guys think he is? Well, I know he ages in reverse. He does. So I'll just start he with is that. He's 40. He's 40? I was definitely what? going to say gonna, 40. Yeah, Look at him. He looks, like a, he looks like a spry 20-year-old. He looks like 20 he's 23 at usher? best. Wow. That's Usher on the right, yep. And yes, his younger brother. That is fantastic. He's got like the skin of an wow. angel. He really what does. Is he, that? Has the, he has the facial <laughs> bone structure yeah. and skin of an angel, I think. He's an angel got his wings when Pharrell was on The Voice. Yeah, it just got 10 degrees hotter in the studio, let me tell you. I'm a big fan. You know, I don't, I don't really watch The Voice, so can you guys tell me who are all the judges yeah. over there? So the judges are Blake Shelton, mm -hmm. who Ooh, is my yeah. favorite. I love He's Blake funny. Shelton. He's really funny. And then, so yeah. in the original season, it was Blake Shelton, Adam Levine, CeeLo Green, and Christina Aguilera, mm -hmm. who we had already previously talked about today, correct? Mm -hmm. yes. Maybe not. Maybe not. And, <laughs> not. <laughs> and so then replacing Christina was Shakira, yeah. and replacing CeeLo was Usher. Mm -hmm. And so now, um, I'm assuming for season seven, it will be Usher, Pharrell, mm -hmm. then Shakira and Blake, I and Chris Hill, and Adam. Like that's just, that is just that is so right. much. I love no, Big Fan. Maybe maybe actually Usher won't be on that one, but yeah. any number yeah, of those gentlemen, positive. I'll be a big fan. Right. Of Before we get uh, too hot and bothered here talking about them, <laughs> let's take a break and look at a promo for the wonderful campus that is UW Lacrosse. Saturday, April 5th, Cooley Pro Wrestling and Delta Sigma Phi return to the UWL Cartwright Center for Blood, Sweat, and Cash. Check out the main event as Freedom Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion C.J. O'Doyle defends his title against former WWE ECW TNA superstar Stevie Richards. Plus, there's six-man tag team action as Livewire teams up with Gregory Iron and former WWE TNA superstar Zach Gowan to face the team of Chief Atacula Kula and Revelation. Student tickets are $5 and general mission is $10. Doors open at 6.30, bell time at 7. Special meet and greet with the superstars is at 5.00. 30 for just an extra five dollars. It's Cooley Pro Wrestling and Delta Sigma Phi presenting Blood, Sweat, and Cash. Hi. So number one issue on uh, campus or college campuses right now is Taco Bell breakfast. <laughs> and I actually haven't done it or I've gone to uh, Taco Bell breakfast yet, but I have some friends who have. And they say it's just delicious. Have you guys wanted to try it yet? Or I haven't tried it, but I sure would be willing to. Is it like a waffle as a taco a waffle? with eggs and... Yeah, actually my friend tried it. It's a Crunchwrap Supreme. She got a Crunchwrap Supreme with eggs and cheese and sausage in it. Oh, and that wow. just sounds divine. Wow. Like, I mean... It does. It does it's, sound pretty it's divine. It's cheap. <laughs> it's cheap college food, and I I love Taco Bell. So yeah, I used to eat Crunchwrap Supremes like it was my last meal. So <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan. So it's definitely one of the things I want to eat from now on. So <laughs> for sure. Yeah. You know, speaking of Taco Bell, I know I already glossed over this with the whole April Fools thing, but there was really funny. One funny thing that I left on about Taco Bell, they announced that they purchased Philadelphia's, you know, the Liberty Bell, and they renamed it the National Treasure Taco Liberty Bell, <laughs> and the company received thousands of calls and generated almost $25 million in free publicity. Wow. And yeah, the Bur uh, Burger King followed suit two years later by advertising a left-handed Whopper that, you know, obviously <laughs> that's complete, like, idiocy. Yeah. So yeah. We can totally go back away from <laughs> April Fools, but I just <laughs> wanted to get that out there because I found it hilarious. Oh so. uh, no! But yeah, that breakfast—I'd awesome. totally be willing to try it. Yeah, it'd be good. It'd be good. Another yeah. hilarious topic is Mila Kunis is pregnant. I, I find that hilarious. It's wonderful. Yeah. Hey, I think that's really awesome. Another I'm angel got her wings. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about celebrities and their on and off thing with like the whole marriage thing. It's kind of you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Demi Moore said that she could not be happier about it. 
But I is, am going to call shenanigans on that one because I think that is a lie. <laughs> I think I agree with you also. She's still just like chasing those young boys. I think her current boyfriend right now is <laughs> 28 <young> maybe. <laughs> and like, you know, it's just weird when you're dating people the age approximately of your oldest daughter. And I just, mm. I mean, if you put yourself in the girls' situations, I think Rumor is the oldest one. I'm not sure. It's like, can't I be dating him instead? Like, Mom, how do you get all these hot guys and then yeah. I can't get a boyfriend? Uh. <laughs> it's because of you. <laughs> it's because of you. Funny. I love that. But, yeah. you know, Jackie and Kelso forever. There we go. That is true. It's <laughs> kind of how adorable they are. Sorry. She's going to have the cutest little baby bump ever. Yeah. And he's going to be such she's a good so dad. She's so skinny, though. I like, hope she can support Is she baby. supposed to look pregnant <laughs> in that? Because yeah, no. she doesn't yeah, pregnant. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so they look like it after I eat a cupcake, so <laughs> I'm sure she's fine there. Yeah, I read on, I think it was like the MSN homepage, they took a quick trip to Iowa this weekend, and Ooh, it was speculated yeah. that they were going to tie the knot really quickly. But um, Iowa? Yeah, I don't know if Ashton that's like where. Iowa. I, okay, that oh, is okay, it. that makes sense. Oh my gosh, so I'm just so sad. Though. I need to... Spread my wings a little bit, guys. A little less TV for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's no problem. Whatever. I think we should all make a trek down to Iowa and just see if see we can, like, town. tie the knot or whatnot. Just, like, stake <laughs> out in the backyard or something. Stake um, out in the backyard. <laughs> I don't know. Wherever they're staying. Something um, that I found interesting was that I thought, you know, the media was making a whole stink about how Ashton went and asked her, uh, Mila's dad permission before, in you know, proposing. What's so interesting about that? That's how it, you know, kind of should be. I love that. Why, yeah, why are celebrities so, like, what, they just don't have to do that? Or it's something <laughs> crazy when they actually do something that everyone else in the world does, you know? Right. It's, what were it's people so, saying about it? Just like, oh, so cute, Ashton going the old-fashioned way, you know, taking a leaf out of whoever's book, like, asking the parents first. It's like, hmm. that's not that's anything shocking. Yeah. yeah. Why is that news, technically? Right. <laughs> so. Right. So. But you know something that I find really newsworthy? The Brewers are going 168 no this year. That's what. <laughs> Actually, is that the uh, correct amount of games? I hope so. But yeah, the <laughs> Brewers won the opener. Look at that. Um, Ryan Braun got a standing ovation. Wasn't sure how to feel about that. You know, I don't mm. think speculated mm. drug use is something to get a standing ovation about. I still like the guy, I guess. Jonathan Lucroy is my all-time favorite. Has been since he was on the Brewers. So he got to hit his first at-bat. I was more than thrilled with it. Did you guys watch any of the opening... No. Day at all? Uh, yeah, I'm not even a baseball fan, so I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, right. I'm a Twins fan. I was just gonna say, so, yeah. I'm a Twins fan. I'm the Twins fan line. in the group, and I will say, yes, we lost our first game, and that is okay. But we are gonna come out strong this year with a bunch of random players that I've never seen before, <laughs> um, and I'm kind of excited. So. Anyway, and if we'll you missed the Twins loss, don't worry, you have 167 more to see. <laughs> Exactly. So, <laughs> yeah, you know, support. It's good. Uh, have you guys uh, what, seen anything about Hank, the new mascot of the Brewers? Those, he's a little oh. dog they found in spring oh. training. He wandered onto the field. That is He so is cute. absolutely adorable. Obviously That's named after awesome. Hank Aaron, baseball great from Milwaukee. Wow. Um, yeah, That's he fun. actually, I think, joined in the sausages for their race and was, like, <laughs> biting at one of their legs oh. or yeah. something. <laughs> obviously the reason that you know, oh. sausage happened to lose. But awesome. he's a cutie. I recommend, you know looking him up or something. <gasps> Look, I mean, how can you not love him? Oh, that? yeah. So He's adorable. Yeah, Hank. That's cute. cute. He is precious. Might get more people attending the games just to see the... Yeah, possibly. I mean, talk Hank. about free publicity. It's pretty great. But, you know, speaking of Hank, I mean, <laughs> as we all wish we could adopt him, let's take a look at some of the animals we can adopt with perfect pets. Perfect pets. <laughs> Meet Emma. She's a five-year-old Doberman Pinscher that likes to stay active and is looking for her forever home. Like Disney, meet Mickey. This cute beagle mix pup loves affection and will make your dreams come true. Meet Lightning. This two-year-old talkative tabby loves to play and always has jolts of energy. And here's OJ, a spunky little kitty that proves curiosity doesn't always kill the cat. To find out more about adoption for these pets or others, contact the Cooley Region Humane Society at 781-4014. Just a message to longboarders and skateboarders out there. Um, there's new city ordinances that pass a certain street. I think we said it was about 7th Street that you cannot be on the street or sidewalk skateboarding. So that kind of is unfortunate for all those skateboarders out there. Or longboarders. But what's also is unfortunate is the retirement of one of our most beloved people. We have some oh, sad yeah. news here to end Afternoon Delight. 
Joe Gao, beloved icon on campus, will be retiring. He said this is his last year. Just wants to be with his family more, do a little more traveling. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess, well, what can we say, but we wish you the best of yeah. luck. You're always going to hold a place right here for us. We're going to miss you. You were a great translator. But Chancellor. you know what we can say, though? You know what we can say is April April Fool. Fool. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> Got it. We nailed it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for staying tuned to Afternoon Delight. We had a yes. great time talking with you guys oh, today. Okay. Had a oh, wonderful time. Awesome. So did Joe Gow, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And we're happy to have been with you, so thank you so much yep. for watching. So I encourage you guys to go out there and play some pranks on everybody. I know I will. <laughs> I'll try. Definitely. <laughs> not These too many not ones good. that are detrimental, you know, no uh, <laughs> cellophane <laughs> over the toilet. Nobody yeah. wants that. No one wants that. So have a great afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your day.